Okay, I'm hoping you have already seen the video for the slide loop clasp, but if you haven't, that's fine. Um, this is basically a video to show you how to start and finish your piece of jewelry. Uh, first thing you want to do is to make sure it's well secured, and I like to use this kind of paper clip. Uh, you can clip it onto your pant leg, your pillow, your little brother, whatever. Um, and it works pretty well and you don't have to worry about hurting your little brother. Uh, and when you're finished, you know, you have the loop there and you finish tying your knots, you can always unclip that part and it slips right off. And it's a lot easier to use, I think, and a little bit safer than using a safety pin because you might stab your little brother. And to start a piece of jewelry, you want to make a loop for your knotters and your bead carriers and basically tie an overhand knot. Like so. And you want to be mindful of how big you keep that loop. Um, you can use either a knot for the ending clasp or a bead. Um, in this instance, I'm going to use a large bead. I also left a very large hole there. And then so you continue tying square knots or spiral knots or whatever along this length. And then when you finish, you would tie a, another square knot. And then like I said, I'm going to use a large hole bead. get that in there like so and then tie another overhand knot and try to get it close to that bead as possible so if you can envision your knots here and this is a bracelet you would take these loose ends pass them through the loop and like so. So it's a bracelet, it will grab onto that bead. Now using a bead is not necessary. Uh, basically you just leave a gap here where the bead is and still tie another overhand knot and that loop will grab onto that knot. And that's the simplest way to start and finish a piece of jewelry.